he believed he had discovered an abandoned pet. He was startled to discover what it actually was a year later. One of the most devoted and affectionate pets that we can have are dogs. Once they are introduced to a family, they immediately identify with it as their own, and they will do anything to defend it. They can also give their owners a ton of affection and comfort, in addition to being exceedingly adorable. Ezra adored dogs and would do anything to care for them because of this. 27-year-old Ezra Toons lived in a small village in the countryside. It was a quaint little place where all of the residents knew each other and would help each other out should the need arise. Ezra had lived in that village his entire life as he was born in that village, and his family had lived there before him. The young man loved his home and his favorite part was the large forest that ran alongside the edge of the village. He couldn't count all of the times where he had gone for quiet walks out in the woods with his childhood dog. This love for nature in the woods continued on into Ezra's adult years, and he would often find himself going for walks after a long day at work or on the weekends when he had the entire day to do whatever he felt like. He would always be accompanied on his treks through the forest by his loyal canine, a Doberman called Dobby. Ezra had bought Dobby when he was just a puppy, and the two had formed a very strong connection straight away. One day, Ezra and Dobby were out on their usual walk through the woods, enjoying the beautiful sunshine and serene nature. Ezra would occasionally throw a stick for Dobby to chase after, and when the dog found it, he would run straight back to his owner to demand that it be thrown again. After a particularly hard throw where the stick went out of his sight, Ezra stopped to admire a small stream as he waited for his canine to bring the stick back to him. But after a few minutes, the young man began to get worried. Dobby hadn't returned to him, which was strange as the dog was usually very obedient and would come back to his master within a few minutes. Scared that something had happened, Ezra began to call out for the Doberman, hoping that he would respond and come running back through the trees. When that didn't happen, the man hurriedly walked off in the direction that he had last seen his dog run off in. After a while of calling and looking for the canine, though, he was unable to find him. Ezra turned around and started walking back to the hamlet because he was worried that Dobby might have fallen victim to an old poacher's trap or been hurt by a wild animal. The young man's four-legged pet meant the world to him, so he wanted to enlist as many people as possible to search for him. He heard a peculiar rustling sound coming from a bush next to him, just as he was about to leave the woods. Ezra froze for a brief period of time after being startled, fearing that a wild animal was about to harm him. But all that happened was to make the bush rustle once more. Ezra snuck forward and stared into the undergrowth, wondering what could be creating the noise. He was astonished when he saw that it actually was Dobby who was stuck in the bush. But what astonished the man even more was the fact that the dog seemed to have something in his mouth. Ezra helped the canine out of the thicket, and when Dobby was finally free, the young man bent down in front of him to see what the dog had in his mouth. The canine carefully laid the object in front of Ezra, who was stunned to see that it was a tiny puppy. The small creature was clearly a newborn as it hadn't even opened its eyes yet. Ezra was in awe of the tiny pup, and as he picked it up in his hands, the young man couldn't believe that such an adorable creature could exist. Knowing that he couldn't simply leave it on its own, Ezra decided to take the puppy home with him and raise it until it could possibly be adopted by another family. It was hard going for the first few weeks. Ezra had to wake up every two hours to hand feed the puppy with a small syringe. As well as that, the tiny canine had to be fed a special milk formula that would help it grow and provide it with all the nutrients that its mother would have given it naturally. As the weeks went by, though, the baby animal began to grow very quickly. It was as the baby grew that Ezra began to notice some very strange things about the creature. It didn't look like any breed of dog that he had ever seen before. And try as he might, he could not identify the type of dog it could be from the internet either. However, the young man was not too bothered as he still loved the tiny puppy, and so did Dobby. The Doberman would make sure to be around for the pup's feeding every two hours and would happily curl up in front of the fire with it at night to keep it warm. One day, Ezra, Dobby, and Pipsqueak, the name that Ezra had given the young pup, were playing in the house when all of a sudden, Pipsqueak climbed to the top of a tall bookcase. Ezra was astonished to see what the supposedly young puppy was able to do, and he began to realize that perhaps there was more to this creature than he originally thought, wanting to know for certain what kind of animal he had taken in and raised. The young man arranged an appointment with his local vet. 
He thought that a professional who dealt with all different types of animals would be able to figure out the mystery that was Pipsqueak. The day of the appointment arrived, and Ezra nervously gathered the young pup up into an animal carrier and took him to the vet. Once in the examination room, Ezra explained to the vet how his dog had found the baby animal in the woods when it was barely a few days old and that he had raised the creature himself, making sure that it was healthy and happy. The doctor gave Pipsqueak a thorough examination before revealing to Ezra what the animal was after a few anxious seconds. In fact, Dobby and Ezra had found and raised a young ferret, it turned out. Although these creatures may be fairly difficult to handle and can occasionally attack people, the young man was in charge of what would happen next, the vet advised him. He assured Ezra that he could keep these creatures as pets if he so desired. When Ezra returned home from the vet, he let Pipsqueak out of the carrier and watched as Dobby immediately began to shower the small animal with love and attention, licking the ferret all over. It was then that Ezra knew that he couldn't just let the animal go free, as the Doberman had become too attached to it and would miss his little friend greatly if he were to leave. But as well as that, the young man himself had become quite attached to the young ferret and couldn't imagine letting him go. He also knew that due to Ezra raising him by hand, Pipsqueak had not learnt all of the valuable skills that he would have needed to survive in the wild and hunt for his own food. These types of skills and instincts would have been taught to the young ferret by his mother. Usually, however, due to him losing his mother so young, Pipsqueak had never had the chance to learn. Because of this, Ezra knew that the only rightful place where the little ferret could call home was with him and Dobby, and the two friends were more than happy to welcome the third, slightly more unusual member to their family. What a charming tale! Please share your thoughts about it in the comments section. Remember to like and subscribe for more amazing stories. If you can't wait until then, you can visit my channel to discover even more incredible tales.